In British Columbia, we have a human rights code that ensures that no one faces discrimination based on grounds such as race, religion, place of origin, sex, or sexual orientation, amongst others. Everybody is protected, which is as it should be. However, it is important that people understand that they are protected. Every British Columbia needs to feel protected and have confidence in that protection, no matter their gender, identity, or expression. So earlier today, I met with my legislative colleague, Vancouver West End MLA Spencer Chandra Herbert, to alert him to the changes we are proposing and let him know it is our intention to introduce a bill on this issue when the legislature resumes next week. The proposed changes will specifically include gender identity or expression among the protected grounds of discrimination in British Columbia's Human Rights Code. So, for example, a landlord may not refuse a tenancy to a transgender person. An employer may not fire someone because they're transgender. It is those kinds of discrimination which need to be protected against in British Columbia, and all British Columbians need to know that that kind of discrimination is not acceptable and is not permitted under our Human Rights Code. Thank you, Minister Anton. Um, it's been a long road, but we're getting there. And when the introduction of the legislation finally occurs, uh, we will finally see explicit protections for transgender people in BC's Human Rights Code and join with most of Canada in ensuring that transgender people know that their rights are protected in law, in name, and right there on the paper. It's my job as Attorney General, and it is government's job, to ensure that all British Columbians are not only protected from discrimination, but they know they are protected and they feel they are protected, and our changes to the Human Rights Code will do that. Thank you very much.